First, pull the crown out one click. The second hand will rotate to indicate the currently active time zone. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the current daylight savings time setting, and the 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position. Now rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the second hand indicates the city nearest your current location. The hour, minute, and 24-hour hands will rotate to the current time set in memory for the chosen time zone. Press and release the upper right button to move the 12 o'clock subdial hand to indicate daylight savings time on or off. If you are in an area that does not observe daylight savings time and wish to disable automatic daylight savings time updating, press and hold the lower right button for one to two seconds. The 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate and move to the 6 o'clock position. This indicates that automatic updating of daylight savings time is off. To turn automatic updating of daylight savings time on, press and hold the lower right button for 1 to 2 seconds. The 6 o'clock subdial hand will move to the 12 o'clock position indicating automatic updating of daylight savings time is on. Now, press and hold the upper right button for two seconds, then release. The second hand will rotate to the 6 o'clock position, and the 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate straight up to 60. Pull the crown out one additional click to the time setting position. The second hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position and the hour and minute hands will move back and forth indicating the time may be set. Rotate the crown to set the correct time for the chosen time zone. Be sure to pay attention to the 24 hour hand located at the 9 o'clock subdial to ensure proper AM or PM time is set. Press and release the upper right button. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will move back and forth indicating the date of month may be set. Now rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to set the current date of month. Note. The 12 o'clock subdial hand rotates five times for each change of date. Press and release the upper right button. The 6 o'clock subdial hand will move back and forth, indicating the current day of week may be set. Rotate the crown clockwise to set the current day of week. Next, press and release the upper right button. The second hand will move back and forth, indicating the leap year may be set. Before setting the leap year, let's understand how a leap year is designated. Each hour indice represents the month of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Each of the three minutes past the hour indice represents the number of years since a leap year. The hour indice not only indicates the month of the year, but that it is currently a leap year as well. The first minute past the hour indice indicates one year since the last leap year. The second minute past the hour indice indicates two years since the last leap year. 
The third minute past the hour indice indicates three years since the last leap year. Now rotate the crown clockwise to set the current month and leap year. Press and release the upper right button. The hour and minute hands will move, indicating they are active for setting. Rotate the crown clockwise to correct for minutes that have elapsed during the setting process. Push the crown in two clicks. This completes setting the time and calendar. First, pull the crown out one click. The second hand will rotate to indicate the currently active time zone. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the current daylight savings time setting, and the 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position. Now rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the second hand indicates the city nearest your current location. Press and release the upper right button to turn daylight savings time on or off. If you are in an area that does not observe daylight savings time and wish to disable automatic daylight savings time updating, press and hold the lower right button for one to two seconds. The six o'clock subdial hand will move to the six o'clock position, indicating automatic updating of daylight savings time is off. To turn automatic updating of daylight savings time on, press and hold the lower right button for one to two seconds. The six o'clock subdial hand will move to the 12 o'clock position, indicating automatic updating of daylight savings time is on. Push the crown in one click. This completes changing time zones. There may be instances in which you wish to initiate radio reception rather than waiting for the automatic updating that occurs at 2 o'clock a.m., 3 o'clock a.m., or 4 o'clock a.m. Please note that on-demand reception may not be successful depending on the time of day, location, weather, building structure, and electrical interference. First, be sure the time zone chosen is near your current location. Next, pull the crown out one click. The second hand will rotate to indicate the currently active time zone. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the current daylight savings time setting, and the 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position. If needed, rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise until the second hand indicates the city nearest your current location. Press and release the upper right button to turn daylight savings time on or off. Push the crown in one click to the closed position next to the case. Now, press and hold the lower right button for approximately three seconds. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the current power reserve level. The 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to first indicate the last reception result, then to the RX position, indicating reception has commenced. Place the watch in a stable position, such as on a tabletop. During reception, it is important not to move the watch. Please note, it can take up to 15 minutes for reception to complete. 
After an on-demand reception attempt, the watch will resume normal operation. To check the result of the on-demand reception, please refer to the section Checking Signal Reception Results and Power Reserve Level. This completes on-demand reception. First, ensure the crown is in the closed position next to the case. Now, press and release the lower right button. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the current power reserve level. The 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the last reception result. Press and release the lower right button to exit reception results and power reserve checking. If the button is not pressed, normal operation will resume after 10 seconds. This completes checking reception results and power reserve level. To activate chronograph mode, with a crown in the closed position next to the case, press and release the upper right button. The second hand, 12 o'clock subdial hand and 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position. If any of these hands do not point straight up to the 12 o'clock position, please refer to the All Reset and Zero Positioning procedure. Now press and release the upper right button to start the chronograph. Measurement now commences. The second hand will rotate in one second increments. The six o'clock subdial hand will make full rotations for 30 seconds, then stop at the 12 o'clock position. After one minute of timing, the 12 o'clock subdial hand will record the minutes. To stop the chronograph timing, press and release the upper right button. The hands will stop accordingly and the 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to indicate the 1 20th of a second elapsed. Press and release the lower right button to reset the chronograph. To exit chronograph mode, press and release the lower right button once again. The watch will resume normal operation. If an abnormal operation occurs, or a full recharge is done after a complete loss of power, an all reset and zero positioning will need to be performed prior to setting the time and calendar. First, pull the crown out two clicks. The second hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position. The 6 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to the 12 o'clock position and the 12 o'clock subdial hand will rotate to the 3 o'clock position. Simultaneously press and hold the upper right and lower right buttons for 4 seconds, then release. The hands and date will move back and forth, indicating a successful all reset. Now, rotate the crown in either direction so the 6 o'clock subdial hand is pointing straight up. Press and release the upper right button. The second and minute hands may rotate counterclockwise to show a clear view of the 12 o'clock subdial. The 12 o'clock subdial hand will move indicating that hand and date of month may be set to their zero positions. Rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise so that the date is between 31 and 1 and the 12 o'clock subdial hand is pointing straight up to 60. Press and release the upper right button. The minute and hour hands will move back and forth indicating they may be set to their zero position. 
rotate the crown clockwise or counterclockwise to move the minute and hour hands to the 12 o'clock position, and the 9 o'clock subdial hand is pointing straight up to 24. Now, push the crown in two clicks. This completes the all reset and zero positioning. You must now set the time and perpetual calendar.